This is the transmission cooler line replacement for a 1998 Dodge Ram 1500, second gen uh, models. Um, I've seen online a lot of people were having problems with these, uh, saying they have a problem taking off these these quick connects on here. Um, that wasn't the case for me. Um, I'll show you what tool I bought and uh, how I took it off. Um, I already took, had taken this one off. Um, this was the only one that gave me a little trouble, but just don't be a girly man about it, you know. Put the shit on and, and get it off, you know, and I'm going to show you how. But, uh, I'll take this one off for now, let that drip in my pan, and this one is still connected, and I'll show you how to take that off. Uh, tools that I use was this disconnect tool, fuel and AC line. Um, I use the 3 8 to get my line off. So you got 3 quarter, 5 8, half inch, and 3 8. This was bought at O'Reilly's. On the back here, D. The letter D is 3 8. So real simple on this. Match them together and get your letter. I mean, if you can't do that, then uh, maybe you shouldn't be um, doing any type of mechanical work. But, uh, that's the one I use, D, um, and I didn't have a, a big problem getting them off. Uh, the other tools that you're gonna need is a 19 millimeter for the uh, for the for the connectors on the transmission side, and uh, three eighths for this bolt right there that is holding those transmission lines up. Um, I think there is one more somewhere like that one further down. Um, but another tip, just make sure you take pictures of everything. Pictures of where these hoses go, where your clips are. So I just got a clip here holding these two lines together. Um, that one and, and then I think you have two more further down uh, on, on these transmission lines. The parts that I bought from O'Reilly's. My Dorman 624-832 and 624-824. My upper and lower cooler transmission lines. So I'm gonna show you how to use this tool real quick. I'm on the letter D for three eighths. And I'm gonna do this one handed. So I don't, and this truck had sat around for 13 years, uh, not doing anything. Um, so, and I got this off really with not much of a, a problem. Just put that around here. Here I am, one-handed here. And just work that in. Until it's flush. Let me get my other hand in here. Give you a better view. And if you're not able to get it flush, what I do is I push this line forward, squeeze this in with it, and then at the same time, push forward on this on your tool and pull back on your line and it's, it's literally that simple i'll show you a time kind of teeth are in here see if we get a good look at that but as you can see those are what hold this line on and it's literally that simple um, I know other people are saying that they were using uh, plastic uh, from a, from a milk jug. They cut it out and and wrapped it on there and pushed it in. And I mean, hey, what whatever works, you know. But uh, that little tool cost me like ten bucks, and I got to use it for um, any AC lines or any lines like this that are different sizes. So I mean, you you take your choice. If you want to use your your milk carton, go ahead. And uh, maybe a screwdriver just in case. You never know. 
All right, now that I have these lines here disconnected, we're gonna go ahead with our 19 millimeter and go to the other side where the transmission is and we'll take those fittings off. I'll just show y'all up in here. So you have one line that runs right here. Just to show you that this 19 mil does fit very nicely, I might say. Okay, and I had already broken these loose before and they weren't hard to get off anyway. So 19 mil here and then your other one is right in here. So undo these two, make sure you get off on the, uh, look, here's another clip there I was talking about. That one's hard mounted. So I'm sure these just, uh, these lines would just pop out of that. Um, it seems like the only one that you have to undo with the screw is the one up front. The one I was showing you that the three eighths um, and then all the rest. You should just be able to pop these lines, hopefully out of the clips. Um, I haven't done it yet, obviously. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna run these other lines and uh, I'll let you know which way I took it out and the best way, hopefully, um, that it comes out the, the easiest. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, I did get these lines disconnected and out. Um, no easy task at all. Um, I would recommend, I'm not gonna do it because I wanna see if I can do it without disconnecting anything, but I would recommend if you were to remove these lines, which are down here, and I'm coming across over here. If you were to remove these cooler lines, take off your starter, 17 millimeter, and disconnect. And I would recommend disconnecting your linkage for your transmission right here. That will help out dramatically and uh, in easing your pains. Um, but with that said, what I was able to do is finally scoot these lines here. They're all the way in the front now. They ran through here. I pushed them, when I disconnected it, I pushed them up towards the engine bay, towards where they were connected. I pushed forward and I kept working them because they're interlinked together. It's like if you push one, then it hits the other. You gotta move them both um, in conjunction with each other. But you push that forward as far as you can get. And then once I was able to get them, get them past this area here, I was able to bring them down and slide them and slide them back from here back this way i hope that makes sense to y'all there is no easy way at all um it is a pain in the uh, in the ass to say the least but uh i do have them disconnected um i did not uh bend the lines in any awkward way yeah minor but nothing uh nothing that would affect them um so i'm gonna see if how this goes with uh with attaching my new hoses and uh, and lines just trying to get a back look here for y'all let me bring out to the front so what I was talking about was these lines are originally connected up here. What I did was once I was able to disconnect them from back there and unclip them, um, which was another pain in the ass on, on some of these. Uh, but once it, it was all unclipped, fed them up this way with the, with the quick connect lines. I fed it up this way 
And once I was able to get it far enough this way, to a certain point, past the um, past the starter, then I was able to bring them down. And I had to, yes, I did have to use force. Um, like I said, I, I didn't, I didn't bend them where it was like a bend that you wouldn't want to use these again if you needed to. So, yes, you got to kind of go uh, think think outside the box and move them certain ways. Like I said, you have to work with them together. Uh, you slide one and it hits the other. It, the other one stops the other one from wanting to come out. It's just the way that they, they made these. Um, my recommendation would almost be in just get a, a hose with a quick connect in and a jig fitting in and just and just run them. I mean, that right there, I mean, would save you all the time in the world. Um, but uh, I didn't uh, I didn't do that. So I, I bought these other lines. But now that I think about it um, and another recommendation when you're putting on these new lines, tape the ends tape both ends because there's a lot of trash a lot of dirt other stuff that you don't want falling inside your hose obviously okay i hope uh i hope i kind of made myself clear on on what i did to get it out like i said it, it took me probably a good hour um under there and if you're claustrophobic um i recommend having a lift uh, yes, you're having to crawl back and forth, back and forth. If you got another person, it would be helpful for the other person to stay here and help feed the lines as you need up this way until you can bring it down and then back. Um, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go over the uh, over the support bar in the back and come on up front with these hoses and then bring them back that way. So I have these two lines ran, they're not fully connected yet. Um, in the end, uh, yes I did. I did go ahead and I took off my starter and I also took off that linkage. And uh, on that linkage, what I was talking about all there is, you have your washer on there and then a small R-clip. And all you gotta do is grab on this end and pull out. And just be careful not to lose it. Um, they make plenty of them uh, over here just to show you how much easier uh, you see and that uh, that starter those bolts on them yeah that was not a 17 millimeter sorry those are five eights five eight bolts to take off so with that starter down I was able to route this a lot easier and this linkage right here uh, that I still have to put the R-clip and the uh, washer on. I'm trying to get a good shot. Where is it? Right there. So I was just about to put it back in. Um, but you can kind of see how that that is routed over. But once you pop that out, it just pivots on this uh, on this right here. And, and swings out so you're able to to put this in put that line in and then put it back yeah, that's about it so i'm gonna get all this buttoned up tied it up get her filled up back with transmission oil and uh get that level correct so my original problem was that um the three eighths uh bolt in the front that that has the holder um, it rubbed through my transmission line and uh, this one right here I think this is 3 8 but uh yeah my transmission line that was sitting right in here I guess just over time like I said this truck is has been sitting a long time it's old and uh, found her leaking right here whenever I was at at the gas station uh, pumping gas so just happened to look under my truck and see a pile of transmission fluid and uh, that kind of made me uh realize why i wasn't shifting good it was shifting back from from 
from fourth gear to third gear without doing anything, just driving. So, and it's a good thing I looked and checked. So, um, but that's about it. Uh, if you have any comments on anything that you've done or if I'm helped you, just give me a, a thumbs up. I don't care about subscribe and all that other crap. So, I'm gonna go ahead, I'll button all this back up and uh, get her uh, get her ready back for my road. So, my old work truck. All right, guys, uh, and ladies, uh, thank y'all very much, and I hope this has helped y'all.